Greetings, my friends. It's your friendly neighborhood PhD, Dr. Judd Burton, coming to you with a Beyond Report on this Thursday, March the 28th. And uh, I thought that I would uh, make a little more extensive of a, a report today. Um, first bit of news is on the personal front, uh, continue to do better and make progress. Uh, my exercises and regimens are yielding good results. Uh, range of motion is improving, leg strength is improving. Um, got a good report from the nurse uh, just a couple days ago. Um, I am uh, in good spirits and so highly motivated uh, to get this done. Uh, you guys have been so supportive. Thank you, everybody who's prayed for me, who, uh, if you donated. Um, it's such a blessing. I, I can still feel all the support and the love. Um, and I wanted to keep you guys in a loop. My room is uh, still get, getting ready. Uh, but my my transition from this place is is imminent. I'm just waiting on uh, some more updated news on my room. Um, but uh, still got some work to do uh, to get my mobility back. I, I've still got I have no illusions about the um, the kind of work that it's going to take. Uh, flexion needs to improve. Certainly, strength needs to improve in my legs in order for that to happen. Um, but a lot of noticeable gains have been made there and, and particularly upper body strength and trunk strength, um, which is important in all of that as well. Um, uh, but I say all that just to say thank you and God bless every one of you for, uh, keeping me in your prayers and supporting me. Um, as we also, uh, come to the end of Holy Week, Easter, uh, is coming up upon us, um, and I, I don't want to turn this into a history lesson about Easter or Resurrection Sunday, whichever you, you choose to call it. Um, but I do notice this time of the year that there's a lot of, of contention about um, celebrating Easter as opposed to uh, the Passover or calling it Easter because of uh, a potential um, etymological connection uh, with the pagan goddess. Now... Um, we have to understand, of course, that the context of, of Easter is the Passover, but it's the importance of it is that we're celebrating the resurrection of Christ and the salvation that we have through him. And so um, it's not about the name, it's about the event. Uh, and you guys have heard me talk about this on a number of occasions. Uh, don't cede sacred space or sacred time to the enemy. We're to, we're to be on the offensive in that regard um, and to storm the gates of hell. Uh, so my advice would be to whatever you call it, celebrate the, the birth, or, or excuse me, the resurrection of Jesus uh, during this resurrection season. Uh, other interesting news uh, that you guys are probably keeping up with, uh, one that uh, figuratively and literally raises an eyebrow is the recent uh, um, ship crash and the tragic uh, collapse of the bridge in uh, Baltimore. Uh, and certainly our prayers and hopes and thoughts go out to um, the victims' families. Uh, the circumstances under which it happened should be closely watched, and I think the timing, um, I don't want to make any sort of superficial observations or, or knee-jerk conclusions, um, but the, the timing ahead of an election in the fall, um, the malfunctions at work, uh, all seem to be pretty suspect in my estimation. Um, but more assessment, I think, is needed. Um, another bit of news that everybody is probably tracking is the upcoming eclipse on April the 8th. And I know a lot of people are, are looking at this through a prophetic lens, and certainly I think we should. Uh, but as to the details of, of what that may be, it certainly it, it could herald something. Um, um, signs in the heavens and, and celestial events and things like that uh, are, are very much a part of God's clockwork. Um, 
And so that's something to definitely keep in mind. It, it, it certainly may herald uh, something prophetic. Um, but, uh, again, you know, our marching orders don't change. Even if it does herald something prophetic in these turbulent times and these, these Jacob's troubled times, um, our marching, marching orders are still the same. We, we actualize on the Great Commission. Um, but, again... Uh, definitely a story to keep following, one that I'm, I'm going to keep following. Um, in conclusion, uh, if you're interested in studying the biblical world or, or even more um, uh, spiritual warfare-oriented topics like demonology and uh, preternatural morphology, my Monsters 101 class, I am running a special on classes uh, this week on, on the six programs that I offer through the Institute of Biblical Anthropology. Um, there's a sell on and you can save $25 off of the uh, list price. And I'll put a link in the description uh, if you're interested. Um, and you can certainly check out program details at burtonbeyond.net slash IBA. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much again for your prayers, your support, and Godspeed to you all.